Hello from Room Now. This is Dr. Eric Dine reporting from Baltimore, Maryland. We just concluded the final day of ACR Convergence. It's been a, a wonderful meeting here at the ACR and a lot of great information, um, a lot of great posters and abstracts. Right now I'm here to talk about one of the abstracts in our final day session. This was um, abstract 2001. And the study was adverse effects of low dose methotrexate, looking at hematologic outcomes in a large randomized double blind placebo control trial. So many of the readers, listeners should certainly know the CERT trial. Um, uh, it was the low dose methotrexate study looking in a non rheumatologic patient population, looking to see if there's any cardiovascular advantage. And, and uh, people who are familiar with that study will know that that uh, did not show that endpoint. But there was this was a large study of nearly fifty of nearly five thousand patients, um, and so there's a lot of information that we could go back and learn a little bit more about the use of methotrexate based on this study. So this um, this abstract comes from um, uh, from up in Boston. Dr. Solomon is the senior author on this. And they look at low dose methotrexate, so 15 to 20 milligrams per week. Um, uh, so in that rheumatic range, not oncologic dosing. Uh, and they looked at, again, a non-rheumatologic patient population and um, comparing to placebo. So what, what this group wanted to go back and do is take a look and see uh, what were the hematologic effects of putting this many patients on methotrexate and following them closely as part of this study. And really what the main find away is not a whole lot in terms of hematological side effects. Uh, you know, when you think back to what methotrexate used to be, it used to be a major problem. 2% two, two, two of patients would have pancytopenia. It was often quite fatal, uh, but today that's not the case. Folic acid has really revolutionized the, the treatment with it. So um, in our patients that we found in this CERT trial, um, again, there was low dose methotrexate, which was a mean of right about 15 milligrams per week compared to placebo. Cytopenias were rare. So two line cytopenia was very rare in both groups. It was 4% in low dose methotrexate, 3% in placebo. That was not a significant number, although it did trend a little bit more um, to be higher in the methotrexate group. Pancytopenia was even more uncommon um, very low numbers, but a little bit more common in the low-dose methotrexate, so 13, uh, which is 0.5% in low-dose methotrexate, versus 6 in the placebo, which is 0.3%. Who were these patients that became cytopenic? So the 13 people on methotrexate that became pancytopenic. Um, they were median age of 70 years old, which is just slightly older than the general methotrexate group in general. Um, they developed it as soon as four months after starting methotrexate, as late as three and a half years after starting the methotrexate. It's really hard to draw any statistical um, significance based on, based on this patient group, just because we have very small numbers, but it's important to keep track of who these patients may be and think about what made them a little bit different. In terms of single line cytopenias, White blood cell counts and platelet counts did not change over time in the low-dose methotrexate group. Hemoglobins over time, they decreased um, just slightly in both arms, so, but a little bit more in the methotrexate arm. There's a 0.4 gram per deciliter decrease, decrease in the methotrexate arm as compared to 0.1 gram per deciliter in the placebo arm. So what do you make of all this data? Well, I think the takeaway here is that there's not a whole lot of hematologic side effects. When you give the general population, non-rheumatic patients, methotrexate, what happens to their bone marrow and their um, hematologic labs, you find that there's a little bit lower of hemoglobin, potentially, uh, but white blood, count, white blood cell counts and platelets on the whole do not change very much. When you look at um, cytopenia is on multiple lines. Two-line cytopenia, we're talking about 4% and, and possibly some significance, but um, uh, or possibly some trend, but no statistical significance compared to placebo, with pancytopenia being exceedingly uncommon. So when you're talking to patients, there's 
um, a number of things to counsel them with in terms of methotrexate, um, certainly making sure that they're taking folic acid to prevent these complications. But if, if they're taking that supplementation correctly, it's very reassuring that hematologic abnormalities are very rare on methotrexate at the doses that we prescribe for rheumatological care. That's all for, for ACR coverage uh, for Room Now. Uh, it's been wonderful covering ACR 2020. This is Eric Dine checking in from Baltimore, Maryland. And I look forward to chatting with you again soon at the next meeting. Take care.